This is the only dedicated home and museum to the Fitzgeralds in the world. We're the last surviving home of four um, internationally. Um, even though they only lived here for about nine months in the 30s, they never averaged six months at a time almost anywhere, and they hit 20 plus locations, so it is a kind of a rarity that we are who we are. What makes us unique and what we house in our collections, we house 11 of Zelda's original paintings, which is fairly rare. Uh, just behind me you'll see the first editions. So we have first editions of all of the novels that Scott uh, published. We house personal artifacts of the Sayer family and Zelda herself, so they date all the way back to the late 1800s. We have, I mean, Princeton ephemera from Scott's time at Princeton. We have his thought book, which starts as early as the age of eight. It was a diary of sorts. And then we have his ledger, which is a document that documents every month of his life from his first word all the way up until he's 36 years old. <laughs> yeah, it's a passion. I mean, because, I mean, just even last night, I, you know, with no thought of you coming over here, I was over here trimming some of the bushes and the had just need to be trimmed. We live just two houses down. And I think it's become an anchor for the neighborhood uh, and preserve the neighborhood. I see this as far more than just a shrine for Scott and Zelda. It is. It is. Uh, a spur for literary revival.